Let's take a look at some Blake Wesley film from the Pelicans preseason game because I think it best encapsulates where he is developmentally right now. And starting with his stationary three-point shooting, you can see a pretty lengthy dip towards his left hip, which slows his release and almost forces him to shoot across his body, hindering his accuracy. And his shooting off the dribble hasn't been any better, going just one of seven on pull-ups, often settling for contested middies like this one early into the shot clock, and he hasn't displayed much touch on his jumper. But if there's one bright spot, it's definitely been his blistering first step. Watch as he blows by Jose Alvarado and sneaks the ball under the outstretched arms of Jonas Valanciunas. That deserves a replay. Look at those strides and how Wesley finishes with his length. And that elite burst and fearlessness attacking the rim has allowed him to get to the free throw line 16 times in three games, the easiest place to score points and a valuable trait for a score first guard. But his ball handling is still catching up to his aggression, making it rather easy for opponents to pick his pocket. And his decision making as a lead guard has left a lot to be desired so far, so let's go ahead and pause things as he gets into his drive right around here. The rookie beat his man off the bounce, but instead of attacking the double gap on the right, he drives directly into the cramped side of the court with the rim protector waiting to erase his layup, and he gets his shot smothered by John Butler Jr. That one-track mindedness got him blocked a few times, so let's slow things down here. As the help defender stunts to cut off his driving lane, Blake spins to escape, and while a pass to Dominic Barlow might be difficult to pull off, it's probably a better option than forcing up a floater in the paint over the 7-1 Butler. And he must improve his pass accuracy if he wants to play point guard in the NBA, just panics when pressured and lofts this ball right out of bounds. Earlier in that same quarter, Wesley tries to lead Zach Collins to the basket with his pocket pass out of this DHO pick and roll, but hits Zach Collins in the foot instead, making it tough for the big man to corral the ball. And he has to do a better job of knowing when to keep his dribble alive, just telegraphs this pass to Zion Williamson. He does the same thing here as he stares down and points to his target before delivering a pass that had no hope of getting to Malachi Branham, and that's an automatic two-on-one fast break for the Pelicans. Yet for all the mistakes, there were promising flashes from Wesley. Watch as he rejects the screen and drags out the pick and roll, drawing two defenders before hitting Gorgie Jang with a hook pass for a wide open straightaway three that he unfortunately squanders. And because he can get two feet deep into the paint essentially on demand, he's routinely able to leverage his gravity going downhill to suck in multiple defenders and create clean looks for his teammates from beyond the arc with kickouts like these. Blake has also been good pushing the pace in transition and making simple reads like lobbing this pass into the corner for an open Doug McDermott triple. As we move to the other end, Wesley hasn't been particularly good reaching, lunging, and slapping, all of which are poor practices that lead to silly fouls. While this defensive breakdown starts with Jeremy Sohan gambling for a steal, Wesley doesn't show the off-ball awareness to rotate over to intercept the cutter, which earns him a talking to from Josh Richardson and Greg Popovich. He also poorly navigated screens, getting wrapped up in face guarding Devontae Graham before getting caught on a pick and giving up an open three. With that said, I love his ability to read the lanes and use his length to pick off passes, and watch as he grapples for the ball and then finds Brandon with a bounce pass from his backside to keep this fast break possession alive for the Spurs. Although Wesley can be too swipe happy at times, I love how he holds his ground in the post and strips his man when he tries to get physical with him, leading to another fast break for this young San Antonio team. This final clip truly captures where Blake can improve as a defender, gets caught on a screen, lunges to recover, gets caught on another screen, leaves his feet on a pump fake, gets stuck in no man's land, and then caps things off with a hopeless swipe that sends Najee Marshall to the line. 